Current Omaha City Councilman Vinny Palermo was arrested this morning and he is now facing nine federal counts. The indictment accuses him of accepting trips and gifts all in exchange for using his position of power. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Dave Zawalinski. Councilman Palermo isn't the only person of note facing federal charges today. Retired police officer Johnny Palermo, no relation, and retired police Captain Richard Gonzalez and Jack Olson were all also arrested this morning. All three are accused of defrauding donors of the Latino Peace Officers Association, among many other things. Two indictments from a grand jury were unsealed earlier today. In them, the government explains how Councilman Palermo allegedly received benefits from Johnny Palermo and Gonzalez. Things like airfare, luxury hotel accommodations and other travel arrangements, all in return for money and favors to their nonprofit organizations that Johnny Palermo and Gonzalez ran. In all, there are nine federal counts listed in the indictment naming the councilman, including varying types of fraud. There are 54 pages of information to walk you through, and we will do so over the course of the next hour here on First at Three, including right now wiretap conversations inside this indictment between the defendants. Jacqueline Fernandez has been combing through that part of the story for us. She joins us now over at the live desk. And Jacqueline, uh, the pages of eye, eyebrow raising exchanges in this indictment. To say the least, Dave, so let's start with perhaps the most alarming recorded phone conversation between then police officer Johnny Palermo and Vinny Palermo. The two were discussing whether any plane tickets or hotel rooms were put in Vinny's name. Johnny says, quote, it made me look into the Jewish people and how they operate. They're like the mafia on top of the mafia, to which Vinny responds, quote, they always have been. That's why District 66 is so tight. Another recorded conversation from September of last year between Johnny Palermo and Richard Gonzalez reveals the two men talking about hotel and airfare receipts to keep track of their spending using the LPOA credit card. There's a call from an FBI agent to Vinnie Palermo where the agent asks him if he receives payments from LPOA or if he's ever received money from them. He says no twice, then calls Johnny Palermo on the same day, telling him about the call from the FBI agent to which Johnny replies, quote, they're digging digging. They probably got a whole file on us now. And they certainly do, Dave. The feds revealing several incriminating conversations back and forth between the suspected parties. And of course, this is just the first step in this case. We'll be sure to keep you updated as new developments start to take shape. Dave. All right, Jacqueline, great reporting. Thank you very much. Let's break down some of the other highlights from the indictment. It alleges that Councilman Palermo failed to disclose gifts and other items that he received from Omaha Glass Pro, a company that he owned for several years. That same company received $93,000 in contracts awarded by the city. It also accuses him of uh, the try to defraud the First National Bank of Omaha out of more than $68,000 by by applying for a PPP loan that he wasn't allowed to receive because he was already on federal probation. Councilman Palermo faces four counts of wire fraud for failing to disclose numerous other financial benefits. All right, the second indictment focuses on crimes from former Omaha police officers Johnny Palermo, Richard Gonzalez, as well as Jack Olson. One count details a scheme where Olson would allegedly solicit donations for the LPOA and then keep 65 to 80 percent of the money for themselves. Another count alleges that Palermo's real estate company would bill Pace for work that was allegedly done. Instead, a Pace employee would go do the work. And perhaps most disturbingly, Johnny Palermo is accused of impeding a rape investigation. According to the indictment, he provided advice to Olson, who was the primary suspect, including details about the ongoing investigation and what Olson should tell investigators to do so that he could go and beat the charge. As you might guess, reaction from fellow city leaders was swift and strong this afternoon. Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert called on Vinny to resign immediately, saying in a statement, quote, a council member under federal indictment for numerous complaints relating to criminal conspiracy, fraud and public corruption cannot be entrusted with spending taxpayer money, making decisions that impact public safety and many other responsibilities that come with the public office. She goes on to say he has violated the trust of the citizens 
he was elected to represent and damaged public confidence in the city council. End quote. Again, that from Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter saying in a statement today, I am appalled but unfortunately not shocked at the content of the federal indictments. As the federal investigation continues, there is a possibility that more arrests will be made. The federal indictments speak for themselves." End quote. Even if the defendants are convicted of just one of the charges from today, that would mean 20 years in prison. They will all be in federal court in Lincoln Monday afternoon to face a judge for the very first time. We have a comprehensive breakdown of today's indictment and all of the charges for you to read and dig deeper over at WOWT.com.